more stories tonight. What would make an expectant mother swerve a scheduled caesarean section at a hospital for a successful delivery in a remote village with a traditional birth attendant? In the following report, Peter Kawadata revisits the exploits of Danladi's pairs of safe hands, Nyankai Bawa, who has had over 4,000 deliveries in 11 years without a single mortality in a complete uh, in a complete dilapidated structure. And I would also want to advise viewers that uh, some of the pictures may be a bit disturbing. That was one of the many first cries witnessed by TV3 in December 2013 at Danladi in the Nkwanta North District. For 11 years, Nyankai Bawa has been performing antenatal care and safe deliveries here in these dilapidated structures without any blemish. At least over 4,000 safe deliveries were conducted here in this remote village on the bare floor with bare hands. One other major feat by Nyankai was the reported safe delivery of a set of twins in September 2014 after their mother flew from a caesarean section at the Basa Health Center. TV3's report about these wonders attracted some level of support, the latest being Caleb Charity, which presented steel beds, mattresses, and detergents to Nyankai. I'll just call on every well-meaning individual who is touched to come to their aid. This is a community which is far from the nearest health center. So I appeal to all other people to come to their aid and help her. No amount is too small. But grateful Nyankai Bauer's heart's desire would be to see an upgrade of her infrastructure. <laughs> Chief of the community, Umaru Tahiru Danladi, was equally concerned. Ame Onaba, we are a trainer, I did train a badge to a gen, I can quant a how you are fine. Why you are a VOG with an enviable record of safe delivery over 11 years and counting, a timely intervention here at Danladi is crucial in the attainment of the Millennium Goal 5. News 360 Headlines is brought to you.